our guest for today. Naku, mga mami, singa muna ng malalim. Kasi she has been one of the most talked about moms online and even on TV recently. And this is after she shared her daughter's battle with cancer. Online, her daughter is more known as Courageous Katie. I'm sure kilala nyo na siya. Mommy Felice Lucas is here to talk about how she is dealing with the loss of Katie. Hi, Mommy Felice! Hi, Felice! And of course, no, meron din tayong kasama, Joan Moreno Javier, a licensed psychologist, life coach, and professor at Miriam College. Hi, Joan. Hello, Hi. Thank you for being with us today. Sure. Okay, briefly lang. I'm sure, you know, the story of Courageous Katie has gone viral. I've been one of those people who really followed the story. Talagang naiyak pa ako many times through it. Pero para sa mga hindi pa nakarinig, can you briefly share what is this story all about? Well, uh, Katie is our daughter, our firstborn. Yes. She's three years old. And then, by late 2015, we started noticing some insect bites. Yes. So we went to different doctors and then they told us it was just insect bites. So they gave us topical creams, mm -hmm. antihistamines, and then eventually, parang it got dumami siya. Mm -hmm. And then some more symptoms like fever, tapos abdominal pain. Eventually, on January, New Year's Eve siya, ay New Year's Day, uh, we rushed her to the ER. It's a comprehensive test. Na kami. For two and a half months, we didn't have a diagnosis. Yeah. We were diagnosed with HLH, LAD, lahat ng classic sickness. Um, we decided to fly to Singapore to yeah. have a diagnosis because it's faster there. They have the equipment. Um, after two weeks, uh, we were diagnosed with JMML. It's juvenile myomonocytic leukemia. So mm -hmm. it's very, very rare type of leukemia. It only happens to 1.2% of the population. So even in Singapore, they had a hard time Finding. diagnosing uh -oh. it. But the thing was, since antagal ta namin hindi na diagnose, her body was deteriorating. Mm -hmm. um, the only cure was a transplant. Hindi na kami umabot sa transplant. Mm -hmm. Personally, for me, at that time, I also, I don't know if you've heard of it, but I miscarried around that time. And then I said, I want Katie to live. Parang, that was the cry of, Nako, sabi ko na hindi ko to magagawa, na hindi ako naiiyak. But I was really cheering for Katie. Mm. It, it, this is a hard question, but when did you feel like she's not going to make it? You know, it was actually the first time um, for her to have a biopsy mm -hmm. or a bone marrow aspiration. The first time, the very first time, I was, I remember I was in the hospital. I didn't sleep because of mm -hmm. oper operation yet the following day. Um, so, ko, Lord, I was crying. Parang, um, okay, sige, if you want to take her, Okay, I surrender her uh -oh. to you. I realized ko, I was holding on to her. I have to let her go because she's. I'm just a steward to take care of her. I I believe in a miracle, but at the same I time, know. I believe she's going anytime today. So, I think of all because that's the hardest. Eh? Yung parang you wanna hope for the best, but you also are surrendered to the will of the Lord. For you and your husband, what is the most difficult part of the journey? You know, it wasn't even about the sickness. It was, it's after she died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's not a, because you wanted to fight with her. Mm -hmm. You were fighting with her. But then, you thought, okay, kala mo na surrender mo na. Mm -hmm. You thought you have enough faith. Na, okay, because I love Jesus, it's not gonna be as hard. Mm -hmm. But then when she passed on, it's hard pala. Uh -huh. It's hard. So, yeah, that's the most difficult part. Yeah. But then, you know, I realized mourning is not a lack of faith. Mourning is to have courage to practice faith every day. How did you deal with wala na siya, the grief, the loss? You know, I processed um, mourning is grieving in action. I realized when I would be sharing my thoughts and my emotions over social media, some parents pala are also going through it, but yes. they don't know how to talk about it. Mm. So, ako, I asked all the questions, I got angry, but at the end of the day, I still want to choose Jesus. Mm. Well, we'll pause for a break, but uh, when we get back, we're gonna ask naman the psychological side of things.